it given, that's how we live it. Don't be mad at the system, it's simply how we've existed. Pirate 2222, and tonight, Taurus, it's your turn. We're back again, because you know I love you like cooked food, people. I just love you lot so much, you put me on the map, so as much as I can, as much as God is willing, I will do a reading for you. So here we are again, nothing heavy people, this is love, love and more love. So everyone can join in Taurus, whether you want it or not, I love you like a gift. So if it's loving that you want, you're gonna get it babies. So let's get to your reading, families. Taurus, 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 here we are again, back at it again. Now we're doing love, the highest energy, giving and receiving people, because you need it, whether you know it or not. That's what your spirit team says that you need, and that's what the Virgo Tarot 2222 is going to give to you. So as you can see, we've got the three in one. As I like to say, the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. I'm not blaspheming, but that's how precious this pack is to me. It reads your energy, people. The energy of the collective. It's almost a personal read. So let's get your energies. Let's see what I go on for you in love. Remember, it's a general read. If it doesn't resonate, people, take what you need. Leave the rest behind for somebody else. So let's get to it. If you see finances, I'll read that too, people, because you know me. I always do. I pre-shuffled the pack, so I will not shuffle them again for you naysayers in the back. And look on the bottom of the deck, people. Look on the bottom of the deck. Material harvest is coming in for you. So look, they brought finances into it anyway, Taurus. Because that's what you wanted to know, right? So your finances is set, people, right? Your finances is going to be abundance. You're going to be able to feed your children, your partner, your dog, your cat, your mum, your dad, your generations to come. But it's time for you to start working towards this material harvest because it's material. So it's something that you're working towards, right? It doesn't just drop out the sky. So I hope that you're doing the work. I see you're illuminated and it's a wish. Fucking fulfillment, people. I've been told I shouldn't swear, so I'm going to cut down on my swearing, people. But you know me. Once it gets in, I'm soul. I can't help it. And I saw it, so I'll take it. Hope, people. They want you to keep hope alive that you can receive this material harvest. You've been watching people online getting their dreams come true, wish fulfillments, and you're wondering, when the fuck is my turn? Your turn is now. It's coming. But you need to do the work. I see you doing something that's going to bring in this work. The light that you carry is going to bring in your harvest, your material harvest. So it's time to get to doing, Taurus. Time to get to doing. Why are you sitting on your bottom? Huh? Why are you sit down for? Because some of you are teachers. Teachers of light. Teachers at school. Teachers of life. I see you teaching your life experiences online. Telling people what not to do. How you got there. How you didn't get there. What, like, how it worked for you. How it didn't work. What hurt you. What didn't. Releasing your truth. This read is going somewhere else, right? And then there's love. <laughs> then there's love, Taurus. Because you know the spirit team work like this. They have to cover all bases. I say love. They say it's not up to you. So there's your finances. Keep hope alive. But your finances is going to come in with you teaching something. You must know whatever it is you've got to give. So it's giving and receiving of love. Because that person's giving us you and someone's receiving, right? And you're going to get your material harvest from that very thing. Buzzing in my ears, people. And that's where your love comes in. I see children. I see a family. I see stability. I see your heart chakra open with all of this green and abundantness. Is that a word? Well, I made it one. So, yeah, I see so much. And then we see marriages, partnerships and alliances, tying of the knot, moving in love. Giving and receiving of the highest energy of all, man. Heart repaired. There you are, dressed in white on your wedding day. Diana there behind you, getting ready to help walk you down the aisle behind you. Because I'm one of the flowers girls or something. And there you are, white people. An abundance, a bundle of joy. I see you holding a child. It's a fox, people, but in my eyes, it's a child. I see so much love, peace and joy. And what do I see? I see growth, people. I see growth. 
Can't you see it? Can't you feel it? I can see growth. I can see you growing, growing in love, moving in love, because you had to make sacrifices so much. You sacrificed people, sacrificed time and energy, and now you're receiving your blessings, that pot of gold at the end of the rainbow that we all read about, that's been handed down to you, because you're now standing in your power, claiming, claiming what is yours, accepting that mantle that we spoke about, passing it on, giving and receiving of love. Do you see it? So much giving and receiving. I see so much love coming in for you because why? You love yourself. And there you are, creating, creating your universe, creating your abundance, creating a whole new masterpiece for yourself, which is your life. You've done the shadow work or you're doing it. Faced your demons, faced yourself. You're amazing, Taurus. That's why me and you just like fucking beautiful. Because here you are, walking towards your new beginnings, that path that's going to bring you to your abundance, to your material harvest. And it all came after your healing began. After you opened up the curtain on the pain, on the suffering, on the trauma. You brought in the healing. You made this shit happen, Taurus. Because you're done fucking dadders. Sorry, woman, whatever your name is, that for swearing. But come on. You used your willpower. You made it happen. You done the magician. You done the magician. <laughs> you tapped into the magician. <laughs> oh, I make myself laugh. And at the bottom of the deck, look at your energy, people. Come on. Come the fuck on. Joy and stability. Partnerships and alliances. Yin to your yang, to the soulmate, to the divine feminine, to the divine masculine. I see joy, peace. I see a spark of enthusiasm. I see creativity, I see abundance. I see celebrations. I see you happy at the last. I see the sun in all of your storms. I see a silver lining in your cloud. Can you see it, Taurus? They want you to hold on to the hope. And look what came out. It wasn't even your card. Receive that nourishment. Because I know that you are healers. You're going to be healing the world. You are being broken and mended. I see someone coming in to nourish you. Replenish you back. Give you back love. I see you receiving the highest the highest energy of all is coming in for you and it comes after a period of introspection after your healing I see stability, I see new beginnings and then I see someone loving on you let's get to your tarot people let's get to the tarot let's see what I go on feel let's clear these so you can see them clearly because they're small cards, they're my babies I love them so much my ears are buzzing so I had to take them out for you at the bottom of the deck, I saw the Ace of Wands. So I see you have clarity now in the month of September, Taurus. You know which way you're going. You know what you want, what you don't want. You set clear boundaries with people, your partner, with yourself. So I see that you've been doing the shadow work. And there you are, the Empress of the Emperor, standing in your power, very fertile, trying to have babies. Some of you are getting pregnant. They want you to have some patience. I see children coming in. I see your life balancing out. And now I see you've been able to conceive. For some of you, it was a journey you've tried so hard, thought you was barren, but you're not. You was blocked by emotional blockages. And now I see you becoming balanced, emotionally balanced, stable. Peace, at very peace. And here you are, celebrating your marriage, the birth of a child, because there's the fishes your baby shower, but you're happy, you're happy Taurus, someone's taking your hand in marriage, or you've taken theirs, and you lot are shining, it's your day, it's your wedding day, you lot are the stars, so I see you being the star of this day, the star of this celebration, that's marriages, that's baby showers, and I know that I'm there, that's me and you, and your partner, Celebrating the birth of you. I see communication coming in from fresh love. Maybe a Libra, Gemini or Aquarius. 
Someone's coming to communicate just how they feel. Because they think that you're their wish fulfillment, their dream come true. So I see that your dreams are about to come true, Taurus. Someone's about to communicate just how they feel about you. Or maybe you're going to bite the bullet and just do it. Tell this person that you love them, that you want to marry them. Cut off those things that no longer serve you. But I see a Gemini, Libra and Aquarius in the mix. And this person's upgraded from a page to a king. So I see that your person's grown, done their healing work, done their shadow work. They've also been left out in the cold by their family and friends. And I see them moving towards you. For some of them, they've been kicked out of a relationship. Maybe because they spoke to you, made contact with you somehow in your DMs. And now they got found out, got kicked out. And now they're coming towards you. I see a rebirth, a renewal of relationships. And I see a rebirth of your life. A re-kickstart of your love life coming in. I see you being so happy. I see an injection coming in for your marriage. That thing that was dead is coming to life. Your love life. Some of you haven't had sex in a long time. I see it coming to life. And there you are. Starting a whole new relationship. Stepping out in faith on a person. Taking their word for it. Knowing that you deserve to be loved. You really do. To give and receive this love. The sun. and abundance. Two children is in this card. One on her lap, one on the grass. So I see so much stability, happiness, laughter, peace, joy. I could go on. But I see two children, people for you. And I see partnerships, alliances. I see business, creativity. I see you just being that happy. But first, you need to make that choice. Which way do you want to go? Which person do you want to choose? Do you want to be alone? Do you just want to? Do you just want to focus on your finances? Or do you want to... Incorporate the two and find balance and go down the path to find love because I see there's the end of a dry spell for you of being single or being in a toxic relationship. I see healthy partnerships and alliances coming in. I see you ending karmic cycles that you picked up from your parents. Now, look at that the giving and receiving of love, people of love. This person is stable, Virgo, Capricorn, or Taurus. You're giving and receiving love, no longer getting involved with these people and fighting battles that you just can't win. These people will never learn. I see you turning your back on certain things and there you are, killing relationships that no longer serve you with the death card. Obviously, you have to. It doesn't work. You found some things out and now all you want is this child and this family. So you've dug deep and you've done your subconscious work, your shadow work. And now you've released and let go of the things that no longer serve you with the death card. There you are. You're heading towards your Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio, your Ten of Cups, your abundance. You're happy ever after. I see you just taking action to make it happen. No longer procrastinating, wanting love. Actually quite horny. The Queen of Wands is a horny little Emma Affa. And there you are, doing your work, getting grounded, meditating, releasing and letting go, setting your intentions. And here comes your little fishy man, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, coming to offer love. And here comes the other night, Leo, Sagittarius and Aries. So I see options on the table for you. As soon as you heal and decide clearly what you want, there you are, clearly decide what you want. Stand in your truth. I see communications people coming in for you. How beautiful. So Taurus, this is going to go into the extended. The rest, if you want to stay, it's up to you. But I'm going to just give you some moon cards. And then the rest will be done on extended for Patreon. Because I owe it to them. They've been rocking with me. We are small in number. But I love them the most. Because they believed in my dream. They understand that this shit is not easy. And a Virgo hates to beg. And I've got seven mouths to feed people. And two grandkids. Yes, some of them are older. But... They all still depend on me in one way or another. And this dream is for them. For what I didn't do, for all the times that I procrastinated, for the times that I thought I couldn't. So yeah, Patreon's going to get the rest of this reading. I'm doing it just for them. And they're going to get some messages from your other person. We're going to tap into the other person's energy. And we're going to get some romance cards and some divine love messages and some sacred soul make cards. So I'm hoping... That I can tempt you lot to join me over there. It's as little as 333 and as much as 4444. So in between is £3.33 is the smallest, £5.55, 
and then there's 11 pounds 11 22 pounds 22 33 pounds 33 and 44 pounds 44 you can join any of them right now i'm opening up all the extenders to all tiers so you can join as little as you want at this point but your support is greatly appreciated people so let's get the rest of your reading before your girl is out to do the extended man wow and there we go there's your cards at the bottom of the deck wow be bold taurus make the first move go on with the cardinal moon go on do the damn thing because there's a new romantic cycle about to begin for you the new moon in libra come on that's coming up you are very close to achieving your goal of love of marriage come on but what communication is key is key is key so clearly decide what you want people so that it comes to you what now but what take time to breathe out because a lot of you are not breathing you are dealing with anxiety just breathe meditate and contemplate i love that <laughs> step out of your comfort zone man you can't grow in your comfort zone people a new start is coming double confirmation but you need to hold your vision on wavering people be unwavering in your focus even when it looks mad to everyone else even yourself keep going so yeah people i hope you join me in the extended but if you don't don't <laughs> my words are fucked up today if you don't this is your girl d virgo tarot two 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 and two Sending love, my people, love and more love. Are we gonna play now, ready for the show. I'm about to take down, you already know. Get the fuck out of my face now, yeah, you got it.